transform the previous dungeons to get all the resources because you're going to need to use them and as further as you go in the campaign you're going to unlock new and new features in this game as long as you're going to find the next one try to equip it and try to upgrade it to the maximum okay because this is where you're going to get more and more now although you will change the equipment eventually it doesn't matter the things that you have enhanced are still going to remain the number the level over there and that's going to be awesome Welcome to Idle Games TV and let's check out Soul Strike. You're going to have this offline income, obviously you can watch an ad for you to get some extra extra bonus out of it. You're going to have different kind of rewards if you're going to log in daily. Probably you have played similar games and you kind of know the idea. Different kind of calendars, different kind of rewards. Now this is going to be the game, you're going to have one main character and different kind of companions, allies along the way. You're going to want to focus on the guided mission, okay? Try to focus on that in order for you to progress in this game. You're going to have this ball over here, this pink ball. If you're going to do enough summons, if you're going to kill enough enemies, you're going to get a lot, a lot of essence. If you're going to have enough essence, you're going to be able to get that ball filled. And you're going to be able to summon different kind of equipment that you're going to be able to use on your main hero. If you do have better and better things over there, you're going to be able to use them also, uh, not over here, sorry. This auto form is where you're going to place your best, best uh, allies. You're going to be able to go over here in the character mode and over here, you're going to have the class. Now the class is really important. As long as you're going to find the next one, try to equip it and try to upgrade it to the maximum, okay? Because this is where you're going to get more and more damage and more and more health towards your hero attributes are really important if you do have attributes points put them over here in the skill tree in order for you to improve your hero and the soul sphere eventually you're going to need to level it up to provide you with better and better equipment now regarding the upgrade part over here you're going to be able to do the simple simple things that probably you know from other idle rpgs simple simple upgrades over here afterwards you're going to have the awakening part over here you're going to need to awaken and you're going to upgrade this cube quite quite a lot eventually you're going to encounter a trial different kind of trials require a different kind of agility equipments or whatever you're just going to need to move a bit over here probably i'll not be able to pass this one because i'm also filming and i'm also trying to make myself now what is this okay let's see if i'm able to destroy probably this thing i need to destroy it in that second but uh, yeah yeah my skills are not enough so i need to do better and better over here come on let's hope that i'm able to destroy this thing in that specific time frame uh, failed okay you get the idea you're going to be able to uh, you're going to need to do more and more upgrades than i did now simple as that follow the main quest here it is the game will go automatically if you do have enough power it will go automatically in the next next uh, game mode and so on awaken ability over here if you do have enough uh, of those cubes you're going to be able to get better and better abilities now these things are really hard to get so please take that into consideration and also you're going to have different kind of dungeons that you need to complete daily you cannot enter a dungeon as long as you're going to fight the boss so that sucks but hey you're going to just need to wait until you're going to finish the fight with the boss and afterwards go and try to go in further further dungeons if you're going to notice that you cannot pass that dungeon what you're going to need to do you're going to need to come back in the previous dungeons and farm them okay farm the previous dungeons to get all the resources because you're going to need to use them and as further as you go in the campaign you're going to unlock new and new features in this game at least from what i saw you're going to unlock new and new features and finally finally you're going to use some of the resources that you have collected and you didn't know what you're going to use them for so for example i just unlocked some alchemy and some laboratory things and over there i'm able to mingle and merge different kind of resources that i gather since i first started this game and i'm able now to get different kind of chests from those chests i'm able to get different kind of rarities and so on uh different kind of equipment rarities now keep in mind a lot a lot of uh, dungeons that you're going to be able to unlock depending on the guided mission so that's why i mentioned try to go as further as you can in that mission that's how you're going to be able to unlock new and new things it doesn't matter about your level the only thing that matters in this game is the quest so as long as you're going to be able to go forward and forward and complete more and more quests that's how you're going to be able to unlock more and more features in this game and if you're just going to click that guided mission it will drive you towards the thing that you need to do every once in a while you're going to need to kill 100 monsters which is easy if you do have enough power and that's how you're going to be able to progress forward keep in mind you're going to have these dungeons and eventually you're going to have the challenges now in the challenges you're going to have the tower of trials 
similar like in most of those idle RPGs that endless endless tower where you're going to be able to kill the monsters in order for you to go forward and forward if you're going to play this game enough you're going to be able to get enough resources if you're going to get enough resources you're going to be able to be more powerful progress further and further if you have played this one and reached further drop a comment let me know how far you reach and don't forget that daily you're going to have the boss raid if you unlock it so keep in mind you need to unlock it at first so in order for you to unlock it you're going to need to uh, complete a lot a lot of those guided missions now this game it's decent enough too bad that you're going to see the heroes quite quite small but the graphic is really really nice they did some upgrades they improved the game for sure every once in a while you're going to have different kind of upgrades new and new improvements different kind of events a lot a lot of events with a lot a lot of rewards but if you have played this one let me know in the comments below for sure there are better games out there but for sure i do not know them so drop some comments with other games as well and if you're in a lookout for a different kind of idle rpg search on this channel because for sure you're going to find a lot a lot of idle rpgs subscribe because daily over here you're going to find a new idle game most of them are idle rpgs guys don't forget that this game it's idle so every once in a while you're going to need to go outside don't forget about the summons you're going to need to do a lot a lot of summons you're going to summon here it is different kind of skills legendary new legendary skill that you do not have you're going to summon some allies that are going to help you along the way and you're going to need to unlock the third slot for that new ally here it is a new legendary ally two new legendary allies but i do not have slots for them so i need to unlock this one when when i'm hitting hard 2.5 okay it's gonna take a while a different kind of relics that you will unlock so you're going to go into the menu part over here and over here you're going to have different kind of collections over here okay now regarding the collection parts you're also going to have a lot a lot of emails daily try to collect them you're going to be able to enhance quite quite a lot of things and most of them are going to be your equipment that you have now although you will change the equipment eventually it doesn't matter the things that you have enhanced are still going to remain the number the level over there and that's going to be awesome you're going to hit auto equip and it will automatically play the best equipment that it has don't forget about the missions a lot a lot of offers for real uh, money if you do want to do that different kind of events as i mentioned and different kind of warps over here basically more and more rewards for you if you have passed different kind of levels in this game not that hard of a game give this game a try a lot a lot of passes with a lot a lot of reward just collect the rewards with a lot a lot of tickets that you're going to use to do more and more summons get better better things and so on definitely an interesting idle rpg for sure if you're looking for something interesting that will keep you at least for two weeks or so give this game a try guys until next time be safe bye